class, we looked at this page of the class notes where we would be converting from one unit to the other. And again, a unit is simply a word. So for length, in the United States, we're common, uh, commonly using units like feet or inches or miles. And we walked through this rather quickly, but we are going to be converting from one unit to the other by canceling units. And just like if we had a fraction, for example, three-fifths times two-thirds, we could cancel a three in the numerator with a three in the denominator and get two-fifths. We've also done this with variables, maybe x, y divided by y, z. We could cancel both of the y's and get x over z. And so what we're going to be doing is actually canceling units. For example, converting three feet to inches, we start with three feet. And the word feet is going to cancel, so we're going to put feet in the denominator. And in this case, we can go from feet to inches because we know that 12 inches is one foot. So picking up your pencil and drawing through that and actually canceling those units is very helpful. And inches is the unit that did not cancel, and so inches would be left as part of the answer. And since we have 3 in a numerator and 12 in a numerator, our answer is going to be 3 times 12 or 36 inches. We know that we would multiply by 3 instead of dividing by 3 because we know that inches are, are smaller units and that feet are larger units. We're going to practice this uh, with things that we're not necessarily sure when do I multiply and when do I divide. I'm going to go off to another sheet of paper. And for example, we would use uh, another conversion that's in the back of the book, and that is 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters. And this is an equality, and we are going to use this to convert, for example, from centimeters to inches. Convert 99 centimeters to inches. And the key to doing this is to always write down the number and the unit. So we write down 99 centimeters, and then we are going to multiply this by a conversion. And I draw this little train track looking thing so that I clearly see that the centimeter would go down here in the denominator. And so we, since we can go from centimeters to inches in one step, I just go ahead and put the word inch here. The 1 goes with the inch. The 2.54 goes with the centimeter. And the word centimeter cancels. Now this turns into 99 times 1 divided by 2.54 or simply 99 divided by 2.54. We plug that in the calculator, and when we do that, we get 99 divided by 2.54, and we plug that in the calculator, we get 38.97 blah blah blah. And if we write this down, 38.976 and so on and so forth, we are also going to keep in mind the concept of significant figures. So our original measurement has two significant figures, so we would round this answer to two significant figures. So the way we would report that correctly would be 39 inches. Okay. Sometimes we'll have several unit conversions that we have to go through in order to get to the correct answer. So let's choose another problem, and if we say 75 centimeters, so we'll convert centimeters to feet. And again, I'm going to use this unit conversion, and also one foot is 12 inches. If you did not go to school in the United States, then you wouldn't know that any more than we know this. So uh, we're going to start out again with the given unit, 75 centimeters, 
do one of these. And we can go from centimeters to inches. So again, we will put the unit centimeter here, the unit inch here. The one goes with the inch, the 2.54 goes with the unit centimeters. And it's a good idea to actually pick up your pencil and cross out those units. We could stop and calculate this like we did, or we could keep going. So the word inch, I'm going to rewrite down here. And then because I know that 12 inches is one foot, I'll put the unit feet in the numerator because inches has to be in the denominator so that it cancels this unit, which is in the numerator. So the 12 goes here, the 1 goes here. Inches in the numerator cancels inches in the denominator. And our only unit left that did not cancel is feet. Now the way we want to plug this into the calculator would be 75. And since this is in the denominator, we're going to divide by 2.54. Then we could multiply by 1, which is not necessary, and then divide by 12. So sometimes this is, doesn't look right because we're used to multiplying denominators together. If you feel more comfortable doing that, you could take 75, divide it by, and put this product in parentheses. So you can prove this to yourself that both of these will give us the same value. I prefer to do things in the fewest possible keystrokes and so the quickest way to get that in is 75 divide by 2.54 divide by 12 and when we do that we get 2.46 this is 2.4606 blah 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 we should also round this value to two significant figures. So this would round to 2.5 feet. So if you think about a meter stick, 75 centimeters is 3 quarters of a meter. And so 2.5 feet sounds right. If we do this, 75 divided by 2.54 and we multiply by 12, we get a really big number. So the way we enter numbers in the calculator is just as important as setting the problem up correctly.